You might think you know what people think about you, but you probably have no idea. The title of this video is you have no idea how much you help. So let me tell you a story. This is a story of my time at university. I did many things and interacted with many people. I was generally quite a social animal. I did hiking and salsa and gymnastics and basketball coaching. I was generally able to make friends quite easily. But the sad thing was I would develop this reputation over the years of this kind of asshole character. Excuse my French. And that was kind of understandable. Like there'll be periods of time where I would go on, on a lot of different dates with a lot of different girls and maybe people call me a player at times. I didn't really care what people thought about me and I acted that way. I generally spoke my mind and that often offended people. I was dominant and assertive. I didn't tolerate bullshit from people. I had very strong values and beliefs. I didn't change my mind very easily either. And so I generally fit this stereotype of this egotistical Chad character who was obsessed with the gym and had a very high sense of self-worth and yeah, I loved myself. And even when I got into a relationship later on, it only highlighted the effect because the girlfriend I was with at the time was this very sweet, kind, nurturing, loving person. And I was kind of the polar opposite to that person. And people would worry for her and it would kind of make me laugh. He'd be like, you know, is this is this guy treating you well? Like, is he, are you okay? And I often came across quite a few people who, who loved her, but didn't like me so much. And that was kind of, it was very noticeable and not so subtle. And that by itself, while it was mean, I don't really mind it, right? Say it to my face, I can laugh with you. Like I can laugh at myself too. That was fine. The part that really got to me was when people started talking behind my back. And the thing to realize is people think that, you know, people wouldn't recognize if you talk behind their back. But to me, it was so obvious, right? People who were once so warm to me started giving me the cold shoulder. People who, you know, would run into me in the library or something like that would like go out of their way to not make eye contact with me. And just generally, I would feel the eyes and the pointing fingers and the general whispering and gossiping behind my back. And that was the part that kind of hurt. So I went through my uni years just generally knowing that this was going on and generally thinking, yeah, people think I'm a, a bad guy. I guess that's how it is. Oh, well. But then there was this one day at a salsa event, right? But I was off to one side at a table. I was helping a friend of mine with her homework. We'll call her Abigail. And for context, I already knew the people at the salsa club very well. We had traveled around the country throughout the year and danced together and went to the big salsa events. And so it was coming towards the end of the year in summertime. And that was the time of year it was. But Abigail wasn't part of the salsa club and she was quite a new friend of mine. So I told her to come to the salsa event just because it was the only time free that I had in the day. And we caught the attention of a friend of mine who would come to the side as well to change her shoes or something. We'll call her Bethany. She says, what are you guys up to for so long? Come on, let's dance. I told her, one second, I'm just helping her with her homework. I'll be one second. I'll be with you. And there was a pause. And Bethany looks at me and smiles. And she says this to me. You are such a good teacher. You know that. You're very kind and very caring. You like to help people, don't you? I've been a beginner for a while now. And whenever I dance with you, you always help me out. You're always so patient with me. Even though I'm a beginner and I mess things up again and again, you're very patient. You keep a smile on your face. And I've always appreciated that in you. You're a good teacher. And that really surprised me because I danced with Bethany throughout the entire year, right? And she was a shyer girl. She didn't really say much. And so I helped her, but I didn't really think much of it. And I had no idea she felt this way. And then Abigail chimes in. She says, oh my goodness, you are so right. He's helped me so much with my homework. Dylan is such a great teacher. I understand this so much better when he teaches me, even compared to my professors. And some others nearby are like hearing this and they come to tell me things as well. I've always loved dancing with Dylan. He's always been so fun to dance with. When I met Dylan, he treated me so well and so kindly. And I felt like I knew him for years when I first met him. I've been waiting this whole night to dance with you, Dylan. Hurry up and finish this homework so we can dance because you're my favorite dancer. Dylan has always had this infectious smile on his face. Whenever I see him, it boosts my mood. You know, that Christmas trip would not have been the same without you, bro. I never told you this, but I actually had a crush on you when I first met you. You're one of my favorite people. I'm so sad that you're leaving this year. And soon I was surrounded by a bunch of lovely people who mattered so much to me in life, who had kept these wonderful warm thoughts about me in their hearts throughout the entire year. And I had no idea. And I realized I was completely wrong about how people perceived me in life at university. I had no idea how much I helped. And from that day forward, I had a lightness in my heart and a skip in my step. And I, I walked around life with a joy that I didn't have before. And I made a promise to myself, never forget how much you help. And this is a message I want to pass on to you guys, right? Because this is one story, one time where I happened to be in a situation where people could tell me things like this, most of the time, most likely, you will never hear these compliments, these kind words. Most likely, you will never know how much you actually helped. So remember that. 
because people don't always tell you these things. In fact, most of the time, they won't tell you these things. And for different reasons, maybe they're shy, they're awkward, they're not confident to say that kind of thing because it's quite a powerful thing to say. And so people might be afraid to use that power. They feel like it's, it's too much, it's, it's too forward. I can't say that, it's, it's too much. So you need to remember how much you help people. It's very, very important because if you forget, if you stop realizing that, oh, I'm actually helping people, you'll think, oh, I'm not doing any good in the world. Um, in small, subtle ways, you'll stop giving that help because you're not getting anything out of it. You're not getting any fulfillment in your heart, right? Your, your heart starts to become empty and hollow and you start to become cynical and nihilistic and you recede within yourself and think, you know what? I'm going to stop doing these nice things because who cares anymore? So remember when you talk to that shy kid in your class because you thought, I want to help this guy, right? Maybe he was going to end his life that night and your kind words gave him hope, gave him something to live for. Remember when you pick up that random piece of rubbish that wasn't even yours. Maybe someone was watching. And for that reason, because they saw you, they never littered again in their entire lives. And remember when you taught your little brother how to ride a bike. Maybe you gave him a memory that he could cherish for the rest of his lifetime. Never forget how much you help. And with that being said, I hope you can lodge this very important message deep inside your brain. Thank you very much for watching. Knowledge is power and the power is yours. Subscribe down below. I'll see you soon.